Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia Abby, and I like to make videos about home, fashion, beauty, soul, and so, 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 so much more. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video, I am ranking some of the black baddie beauty maintenance tasks. And you see a lot of these tasks in some of our favorite content creators vlogs and I see them and I see them going about town and what they do to maintain you know their baddie status so I'm ranking some of the 15 items that I've put in a list in the, one of those popular YouTube um, meme um, ranking videos it's really popular and it's been popular for a minute so I'm just trying to rank but I haven't seen this like style done of ranking the black baddie YouTube stuff so let's get started shall we so i have a scale and it starts with slay queen on the bottom on the top and then it's no for me at the bottom so it goes slay queen for items that i'm like yes get it girl then it goes um if i had the coin and that's like if i had the money i would do this i think it's great but i think it's a smidge extra and then i have neutral things that i'm you know have no really opinion here or there about and then I have doing too much and then I have it's a no for me where it's like completely no those, those are the bottom categories so this is a little bit of fun and a, well it's a lot of fun and a little hateration just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just a little hated I said what I said oh. so let's get started shall we so the first item I have is gym slash trainer and this would be like having a personal trainer at the gym. And I'm gonna put this under if I had the coin. So if I had the coin, I would get a personal trainer. Um, I've in the past done like more like premium gyms and then gone to those classes that were provided by the gym. But I'm pretty self-motivated. But since we're in a panoramic, I haven't been going to the gym. Um, I've been working out on my own. But if I had the coin, I would get a personal trainer. So if I had the coin, that's the first category, the first one. The next item I have on the list is detox teas and, you know, flat tummy teas. And I'm going to put that under it's no for me. When I was a kid in high school, one of my aunts bought me this tea because she knew I like green tea. She's like, try it. It's so good. So I just took the tea bag from her, put it in some hot water and drank it. A few hours later, I was cramping up in the bathroom floor, rolling around. My stomach hurt so badly. It never had hurt that badly. And I went downstairs and I looked at the tea and it said dieter's green tea. And dieter's green tea is basically like a laxative tea that you can get from the Asian market. Y'all, my stomach hurts so badly. I'm just, and I want the girls to get paid, but I would never, hopefully I won't ever have to promote like a flat tummy tea or detox tea like that because <laughs> no, N-O, it's a no. The next item I have on my list is lash extensions. And I've seen the girls get lash extensions. And right now what seems to be trendy is like a really voluminous set. And I tend to prefer a little bit more natural lash because if your set is too voluminous, it tends to, in my opinion, like distort your eyes. Um, like it makes your eyes, like to me as a viewer, it sometimes makes your eyes look like, like they're in pain because it's so heavy. I'm um, like when you get like really heavy braids and your neck hurts. So I'm gonna put this under doing too much. So I'm gonna put that under doing too much. And I also put it there because I have some makeup artist friends and they say that lash extensions can ruin the integrity of your natural lashes. That your lashes might like um, over time weaken and like fall out and then they have like grow back. So I prefer a strip lash and then maybe lash extensions for like a special occasion, going on vacation, a photo shoot, etc. But strip lashes will get the job done over lash extensions. So I'm putting that under you doing too much. The next item I have is lip filler. And I got some luscious lips myself, you know, <laughs> hashtag genetics. <laughs> no, but for real, I like a luscious lip. I think they're fun. Mm, putting lip gloss is more fun, lipsticks, anything, all that. It's um, lips, having full lips is fun, but natural lips, are just fine like people's natural lips I feel like sometimes 
there are certain natural features for people that like fit well with the way they already look but you can get really natural looking lip filler so i'm going to put lip filler under neutral i'm indifferent about lip filler just don't lie about it don't say a product ma made your lips look this way when it was lip filler um so lip filler i'm putting under neutral um especially when it's done right but it can look really good so the next item I have is BBL. Now this one might be a little controversial. So a BBL or Brazilian butt lift is, you know, when folks get typically, well, it depends. You can get different types. I'm not an expert, but you know, it gives you, you know, a little bit of a shape. So here are my thoughts. You can't, when someone is insecure, you can't fill their confidence cup up. And if you're like me and you have gotten to a point where you're really kind of more secure in the way you look and the way you act and etc., and you are on confident island, like, like this elusive place, a confident island where all the confident folks are, it is so much fun. It is so much fun to release your inhibitions and, you know, release your insecurities and live in your truth. It is a lot, a lot of fun. And not everyone is there. So if you have to take surgery to get to Confidence Island, take the surgery and get to Confidence Island. Save up the coin, do your research, talk to your medical professionals. But I say if surgery is going to enhance your confidence, then I'm kind of here for it. Raven Elise made this video about her cosmetics procedures and like how they really impacted her. I'll leave that down below in the comment section. And it was really insightful and it was quite introspective about like cosmetic surgery and the benefits on people's self-esteem. However, how and ever, it's the lying for me. There you go, there you go. The lies, there you the go, lies. there you go. The lies, the lies, the lies. People seem to lie about their cosmetic surgery like it's no, like no man's business. And I just don't understand it. If you get um, work done and you have the aesthetics look good, you, you still have to work out and eat right to maintain it. Also, um, what's the point of having a beautiful body if you have like a high, high blood pressure, you know? You know, so like fitness, exercising, those are all kind of like maintenance s type of things to make sure your internal matches your external so i think it's fine but i think it's deceptive when people promote products that give them a shape that they got from an operating table so that's why i'm going to put bbl under neutral so bbl is, is in neutral and at the same time i don't want internet folks I mean, commenters to to be so negative and so mean because people are being vulnerable, expressing their, hey, I have this insecurity or, hey, I want to enhance myself and I'm going to share this surgery journey or disclose that I've gotten surgery. So be kind, be sympathetic, have some grace. Um, so I just say disclose it and don't lie about it. So BBL is going under neutral. The next item I have on my list is body sculpting. And back in the day, in the early seasons, Kim Zolciak got body sculpting, I think, or some sort of body sculpting done on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm gonna put uh, body sculpting under, it's a no for me. No, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put it under doing too much. I don't see a difference with body sculpting. I just see people looking kind of like greased up. And you know, I can get you some body Johnson Johnson baby oil from Walmart <laughs> for like $3. I don't see a difference when people do it. And maybe you see a difference like a couple days afterwards, but the girls will be like, mm, I got it done, looking good. <laughs> like, I don't see not one thing. So that's going under doing too much. The next item on the list I have are nails. And I'm gonna put that under Slay Queen. I love nails, I love nail art. Um, I typically go for like kind of like a shorter nail because I don't like, when you put like lotions on and I'm like moisturizing my hair at night, um, I don't like the way my nails feel or when I'm cooking. Like, I just, I always feel like my nails are like, are really dirty and I like my hands to be like really clean. And I'm not saying that people who have long nails or have nails are dirty, I'm not saying that at all. I just, uh, when things get trapped in it, it just, bursts me out um, and irks me and also like functionality I'm not the best at functioning over like a inch nail like a like anything above that 
I, it's, it's more difficult for me to do the things I want to do at the speed I want to do them without like breaking a nail and hurting myself. So nails I put under Slate Queen and I love the nail design and love nail art that people do. So the next item I have are wigs and installs. <sighs> now this one I think I'm going to put on in if I had the coin. And that's only because how many wigs does a girl need? I read something, um, a tweet from one of my favorite content creators, and she was basically like, if you, um, she said something along the lines of, with wigs, it's quality over quantity. So if you have a couple good wigs that you love, you can go back to them. And I see the girls going to the salon stylist and getting their wigs slayed and stuff, and they really, and just like hair content in general, how many wigs does a consumer need? Like I see them advertising hair and I'm like, it only influences me and I'm only impressionable when I'm in the market to buy hair. Um, and you know, y'all know, I kinda, I kinda, I'm gonna be honest, come close. I struggle with hair. Oh brother, this guy stinks! But when I have the coin, <laughs> When I have the coin, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Don't stop me in the streets asking for signatures and autographs. <laughs> it's over for folks. But I don't have the coin right not yet. I'm speaking into existence. And I I like hair and I would love to get my hair done like um, my favorite content creators. But for me, I would say it's if I had the coin, I would. It's a little bit extra. And I I honestly don't think that the everyday woman or non-binary or man needs more than a handful of wigs, to be completely honest. Um, the next item I have on my list is teeth whitening. And I'm going to put teeth whitening under doing too much. And I only put it there because dental procedures can be kind of expensive and you can get fairly decent over-the-counter stuff from the grocery store. So I'm gonna put that under doing too much, but it's necessary. I don't really notice people's like teeth color. Maybe it's just me. I just feel like if you have like basic hygiene, your teeth will be pretty okay. To me, to me, not sure, but to me. The next item I have on the list is laser hair removal. And I'm gonna put that under Slay Queen. Laser hair removal is a great form of removing hair. I would caution against the ones that the influencers promote with the at-home system because um, uh, some of some like laser hair removal professionals are like, y'all, those aren't powerful enough. And also, um, if you're like darker than this, it's a no for that because they have like a skin tone range where they it doesn't work if you didn't notice that so just fyi so i'm not sure it works on all the tan to beyond tan girls um so i'm gonna put that under slay queen also laser hair removal is a good form of hair removal that helps with like hyperpigmentation because sometimes when you're a lot of black girls like maybe even just like myself your pigment of your hair is like your hair is darker than your skin tone so that's what i'm trying to say the next item I have on the list is an esthetician and facials. And I'm gonna put that under if I had the coin. If I had the coin, I would go to the esthetician and get facials done. Because while we are more informed consumers and we're learning a lot on our own, it's great to go into these spaces with like knowledge and with questions and having a more engaging dialogue with these professionals. Also, it's a great way to support businesses, um, et cetera. The next item I have on my list is Botox. And I think I'm gonna put Botox under neutral. Because people say, like, I'm not gonna, like a couple folks say that Botox can be preventative, but I don't necessarily notice the difference when people are on the younger end of the spectrum. So I'm gonna put Botox under neutral. And I want people to feel like the best versions of themselves. But um, yeah, so Botox is under neutral. Then I have microblading. And this might be unpopular, but I'm gonna put microblading under it's a note for me. I feel like brows are trendy and they evolve over time. Um, so the shape and the thickness and the, um, the darkness evolves over time. So getting it tattooed on yourself 
while you do look beautiful and you feel more confident but when you're not wearing makeup and it kind of eases the process i just feel like what happens when you want to reverse the shape how does that work maybe it's just my ignorance my ignorance you know come to the forefront but i'm gonna put it under it's a no for me then we have baby hairs I like a baby hair. Um, I like a baby hair. Maybe it's because I like like Sky Townsend and Sweetie, but uh, I'm gonna put baby hairs under if I had the coin um, because it's a little extra, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna put baby hairs under if I had the coin. I have difficulty with the baby hairs with the wigs. I can do it with my natural hair, but when the wigs get that into the picture, I, I'd be struggling. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. You can all check out my old videos. I'd be struggling. And then the final item I have is a chiropractor. And I'm going to put this under Slay Queen. And no, actually, this really should go under if I had the coin, I would. Um, but a chiropractor, I heard, can be really relaxing, um, helps people with their alignment, and your alignment really can help <laughs> in your everyday life. So, yeah, I'm going to put chiropractor under slay queen because i i appreciate it and i also appreciate how it's a non-physical form of maintenance that helps you feel better without like changing your aesthetics so that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video um do you agree with my ranking did i get some items wrong some items right let me know down below in the comment section um i will try to leave this link so you guys can do the video if you do the video tag me and let me know so i can watch it and i can comment and yeah well y'all take care thanks bye